uh, is Melissa Jones, who is on the phone and joins Peter Finch now. Stewards Cup. Um, you've gone for one that finished fifth last year. I look back on this race. Um, it was a fast finishing uh, fifth, and it's uh, Ninjango. Ninjago, yes, back off the same mark today. Um, last year had five pounds from Rex Imperator, gets the same again. And Ninjago, there's not much room for error really off his current handicap mark because, you know, he's so consistent in these big fields. He loves it, you know, charging from the back to finish with that turn of foot that he um, traditionally shows. And hopefully, you know, Ryan Moore can get him switched off. But I thought that often, you know, his run started perhaps a little bit too late in the races. You know, he gets going right at the finish. And if Ryan Moore can get him, you know, travelling with a wet sail with sort of two to run, you know, he could be able to pick up the leaders. And uh, these big handicaps, they are really difficult, devilishly, devilishly difficult for the punters. But Ninjago looks pretty solid. You know, he's assured to run his race, really. And 12 to 1 looks a good bet. Uh, Palisato is, is one of your five today. He is indeed, yes. And I was tweeting earlier to say, right off Pal Palisato at your peril. And I do think in time he might develop into a cup horse. He's only five, of course, and there's a bit more improvement in him. He's taken time to fill his frame. Why have you gone for this one? This was a nap four weekends ago on the show. Didn't disappoint. Did well there for Kim Bailey running out. Uh, it was, was a hard-fought success, to be honest. But he's at five furlongs in trip, and I think that'll suit. He does seem to get a little bit outpaced in his races, and all he does is stay on. Kim Bailey searched the programme book up north for this 16 grand race. It's a really good prize at Kelso. You know, they, they do put some good races on up there. And this horse has been in great form, had the three runs since the two-month break and does go, has been going really well, a fourth in a handicap hurdle, two starts to go over a shorter trip. Not just by luck that you're top of the, the table. Do you, no. do you, how do you do it? Do you study the form, or do you watch races beforehand? Do you look at handicap marks? How do you do it? Sometimes it's horses I've been following, for example, like Cave Moss. Um, and going back to what we were saying earlier about horses in headgear, that's a horse that has had headgear on the last three or four times and just improved and improved and improved for, for the blinds to be put on. So. Um, you know, it, it, it depends really, you know, I, I do like first time headgear, I, like, I look at all sorts of things, so I don't really have, um, well, I can't tell, give too much away, but um, <laughs> I don't really have, you know, sort of yeah, specific yeah. rules I go for. He is the best horse in the race at the weights and Mikey Ennis has taken off five pounds. Remember a horse called Steel Summit from this stable, racked up a four-timer not too long ago, and th this is a stable when the horses are in form, they can run up sequences. He's a really good trainer, David Dennis, and it's for favourites racing, who, of course, he's got good links with, Marju's Quest, and they'll be wanting him to go in again. I think the bookmakers have, have focused a lot on Newbury, of course, this Saturday, and they've, gone, they've undercooked this horse. It's 7-2, to two, and I think that's pretty generous. I do think he'll go extremely close in the Fontwell 305. Stable form, course and distance winner. Hopefully he can bring home the money.